this right here's my mug in slow motion my mug a beauty shot you can't compare to so book me and I'll do it for you hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here thanks so much for stopping by make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button once you subscribe, hit that notification bell, join the Clockwork crew, so you'll be notified every single time that I upload, which is every single Monday, like Clockwork. We're going to do a tutorial. Why? I feel like it's been a minute. I want to do a blue look. The blue background was already up. This is what I want to wear because it finally feels like fall outside. And it's very cozy. So we're going to do a cozy blue look. Perfect for Blue Monday. I feel like Blue Mondays disappeared, but they need to bring them back. I said I feel but I haven't been posting that much on Instagram, so I get it. If you guys have your notification bell on and set to all you might have seen on my community tab, I do have a review of the viral Amazon camera. This will be th my second time filming it. This video is actually done and ready to go. However, you guys voted, it was like 50-50, right? To put it, to just hold off and put out a different video. And until I get the replacement camera, because I did reach out to the company, they did, they are willing to, they are going to send me a new one. I just haven't gotten the body yet, so I don't know when that'll be. But I wanted to give it a really fair shot, and maybe there's a giveaway in that video. Mind your business, just like what my hair is doing. Mind your business. Um, so we're just gonna go on. We're gonna do a nice, cozy blue look, not too hard. Um, and maybe we'll chat. Maybe. <laughs> if you're ready to get into this look, keep on watching. This is my breakfast, y'all. Because it's still 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, and I'm stressing again and losing weight. Literally, as soon as I gain weight and I'm comfortable, I lose weight because I'm stressed the fuck out. And... Is garbage. I have some palettes here. Don't even know that these are the right palettes that I wanted. I just, just picked up some palettes. I know I want this one. So we'll start with this. This is my Nomad Cosmetics. What is this? Paradise Islands palette. I love it. You guys know I love the blue in here. Um, and I'm gonna go, ooh. As a transition shade, I'm gonna go into Dolphin with my large fluffy blending brush. I just washed it this morning, y'all. That's what. I was supposed to get out of bed early to do my foundation wear test. I've had this foundation for months. I just could not get myself out of bed today. I can't get myself out of bed most days. I'm going to be honest with y'all. So that's what happened. I didn't. I could have filmed two videos at once, do my eyes, and then go and start filming the wear test. But I do those for 13 hours. And if you think I'm going to keep my makeup on and stay in the house for 13 hours, starting at like 10 11 o'clock absolutely not that's insane uh so that i don't know when that's gonna come but again a large fluffy blending brush we're going into dolphin it will be on the screen i know it's, i feel like it's been a minute i just wanted to do something blue and not entirely like a blue look i've done before so we'll be cutting the crease we're going in with a darker blue on the lid from the uh juvia's place masquerade palette i love that that palette <laughs> I'm not going to show you guys that palette again. It will be on the screen, a picture of it, because it's it's been through things. So we're just going to go ahead and blend this out. How have you guys been? Me? Every time I think it's getting better, it's not. My neurologist did fix my prescription, so I'm good. And he refilled it for like the last for the next three months, so I only have to get one more refill um, before he is done with me entirely. Because he did, like, just drop me and tell me, like, look, it's time you see a subspecialist. So I have to see a neurologist that is also a headache specialist. And I don't, you can tell, like, I'm doing a lot better because that alone was just way too much, right? I'm already in constant pain. But the intensity of the pain was awful. I was getting more migraines, too. Um, and that's what annoys me, right? I hate when people are, like... Oh, you have another migraines or migraines? I don't have a migraine condition. 
it's different. There are differences, but the problem is, so I don't really say anything too much, is that I also get migraines with it. So I don't know that any of you could imagine. And you know what? Maybe it's my time because they canceling Royal Beauty Christy, who is known for talking about her cluster headaches. It's my time, okay? The hemicranial girls. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. First of all, I don't even know anybody else with this headache condition that I have. I haven't even seen anybody on the internet talk about it. So, but that was funny. That made me chuckle. Um, see how pigmented this shade is? Because I, the only thing I have is a base is my concealer. You guys know I've been using the Shein concealer. Don't cancel me. Um, I've had it before the Rico, and I'm going to keep saying that. Um, yeah. But I don't have, usually you need a white base to get this done. And I think... Like, there are makeup artists. There's a girl that I have on Instagram, right? Her makeup is really, really good, vibrant, very, very clean. I just feel like if you have to use a white base all the time, those shadows ain't for us. They're not for us. Not that I'm the darkest, so let me shut the fuck up about that. I'm going to take a clean brush. Uh, similar. It's just a little angled. Just to buff out the edges a little bit more. I don't want it to be as harsh like this. But yeah, I hate having to use a white base. Like, it looks great, but I just feel like your shadows are not inclusive then. And I'm going to try to make this video under 20 minutes. We'll do that. Because it's not going to be a hard look. I don't, I don't really need to show you guys me doing my face makeup. I think I do that enough. And I'll save that, like my base, for get ready with me. I will be doing another one. Um, next weekend, because Stony Brook has another home game on the 23rd, so don't stalk me, but I'll be there. Um, so yeah, I'll do it, get ready with me with that. For that, hopefully I'll have the replacement vlog camera so I can actually have good quality, you know? I feel like I'm just so upset because it's be the third time that I'm filming that, and I'm really over it. Um, I don't know why I picked this one up because I'm not using anything from this. Going back into the Paradise Islands palette, I think I'm just going to hit the Huahin. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but shut up. And I'm going to take my Morphe E36 and I'm going to hit the crease a little and the outer corner. I feel like I want to pop a color somewhere, but it's just like, yeah, I don't know. And I don't want to blow it out too much. I'm going to keep it kind of tight on the outer corner. Yeah, so my my prescription is better. It's been a week. Um, so I'm doing a lot better. It's still getting, it's still a little, mm, sometimes. But way more manageable. It's just that the rest of life is not. <laughs> and there's so many things that I need to do. Um, also, hopefully... If my vlog camera will come and it will be good. I did get my pistol license. I am in New York, so it is not an easy thing to get for most people. Most people think that. But I have a sportsman license, which means I can go to the range and have a gun in my house. In Long Island, I'm in Long Island. I'm not, try I'm not trying to dox myself. But, all right, but where I am, you don't have to have a gun to have your pistol license. I do want to get a pistol. I already know which one I want. But I am going to do the concealed carry course, does the safety, teaches you everything you need to know. And maybe by like January, I'll have my concealed carry permit. So that's something that I want to do. If you guys want to hear more about that process, if you guys, um, when I start the course, you guys want some updates on it, like maybe one video, because it's only a two day course. I could probably do like a whole video on it. I don't know if I'm able to get video at the range. So I'm not exactly sure how that would be done. But if that's something that you guys are interested in seeing, hearing about, let me know in the comments down below. You guys don't engage, and that's fine. Y'all only engage for giveaways. A little tacky. But um, that did give me some new, some new subs. And someone's been very active, and I appreciate all the love because I need it. Because do I want to give up? Yeah, because it's just like not worth it. And I don't know what's going on with YouTube monetization right now, but I'm not even getting the pennies that I was getting before. So I don't know what's going on. Just some black guy had asked me about it last week, last, yeah, last Sunday. And I was like, hold on, let me go home and check. Lo and behold, 
something was wrong. So I don't know. It's something on YouTube's end. They need to fix it. And to be honest, I don't really care too much because I do not make money on this platform. So there's that. You guys, so from the last poll, I had to put up what you guys want to see next to get ready with me, a vlog, or skincare. Nobody wanted skincare, and that's fine. I feel like it's the easiest video for me to do, so I'm able to get it out. Get ready with me's are also very easy. Uh, as far as they're easy to edit, because it's not, you know, not that, I'm telling you, I'm not the best. I don't have the most, like, engaging editing, and I would love to be better. I just don't, I don't have it in me right now because I just don't have that, like YouTube, my passion for YouTube is dying, very much so. Right now, however, because I'm kind of like taking time to myself, I'm not really doing well. So, being able to film does help. It is something to do, keep me occupied. Um, I'm reading also, but I'm like always reading, so... But that's what I'm doing. If I'm not answering your text messages, I apologize. I just really need some time. All I need is time, like Techno said. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm at. I'm just trying to pack on this blue because it is a beautiful and I love it. I kind of want to pop a color. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I think I'm going to have to go into my pink neon. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful thing. No, it's crazy. I say a lot of things in these videos, and sometimes they don't they don't make it they don't make it in. Just feel like I'm telling y'all too much, and y'all should mind your business. But that's it uh, for the outer corner. Off camera, real quick, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead cut the crease with my concealer again. Um, I'm not gonna do. I usually try to do it off camera, but I'm just gonna come back and show you guys. I really don't want this video to be too long, but you guys need to see something. <clears throat> Crazy cut. Um, now I didn't do too much. I still want everything to show, all the colors to show. Usually, when I use these two colors together, I go in with a lighter shimmer on the lid. Nope. I'm going into the Masquerade Minis palette by Juvia's, and I'm gonna go into Delilah. It's been through some things, and it's not a lot, so I'm just gonna take a small <laughs> shader brush, and that's how I'm gonna be going in to apply it. It is my favorite blue. It's just gorgeous. And you guys will see it on the screen, but I'm just gonna go in carefully, start at the inner corner, and I'm gonna tap it. And do you see what I mean? Now it's like it's very close to the Joaquin shade, but y'all shut the hell up. This is what I wanna do. Obviously, a larger brush <laughs> will work better, but the way this shadow is dug out, this is all I can do because it's like in the sides. So please, don't drag me. Drag your mama. Mm. I'm kind of thinking if I want to leave that spot open for a lighter shimmer. There's a lighter blue here. Let's see what it looks like if I want to do that. Um, I already did it, so I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> not happy, not too happy about it, but I just they were just really close. Which means I might have to do some line work, some graphic liner or something. Maybe. I don't know. I do want to go in with a little bit of jewels, so we might be fine. It'll work out in the end, swear. I think I left about that much. I could just clean this off. I'm just not. I'm just going to clean it off a little bit because... I was playing myself. And that lighter shade is called Zola. Now, if y'all old enough to remember the Twitter, the Twitter thread, I think it's called Zola. With that girl that how she went on this stripper trip with some white girl that she just met. And it was crazy. And it was it went viral. There's a movie. They did make a movie. And I've seen it. And it's ghetto. And everybody go watch it. I'm sure it's called Zola. You see how I put y'all on? Sorry, guys. I love watching awful movies and ghetto movies. I really do. They just is too fun. It's too much fun. It is a roller coaster and it's hilarious. It looks a mess. What I'm gonna do now? 
Going back with my Morphe E36, it's my Paradise Islands palette. I'm going to hit that outer corner shade of Joaquin and just clean it up a little bit. I'm definitely probably going to go in with like some liner work to just separate it a little. Maybe. I talk a lot of shit, but once I get from in front of the camera, I just be doing anything. And that is my problem. Honestly, I like it. I do like it. It's like a secret halo eye. What am I making up? Going back with my large fluffy blending into Dolphin. Just going to build back up some of this up here. I'm blending, but I'm also kind of patting to get that color in because it is a very light color. How it looks to me uh, in my mirror, just dirty, filthy mirror, with the lighting is, I don't know, it always looks better when I watch it back or in pictures, so just, y'all, y'all probably, that's probably why y'all be like, what is she talking about? It looks fine. But yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. I want to go in with some jewels, but now, I don't know, yeah, let's, I'll show you guys how I do my jewels. I've done it before, but you guys act like y'all don't know. And I gotta put something in the video. So with my duo, this is just a mini duo. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. This is a felt tip liner brush. It's just a disposable brush. I'm gonna use this to place the glue and then to see where I want the jewels to be. But I kinda want it on the lid. I don't know why today that's what I want. Just in the front, like that. Sorry about my mirror. Yeah, I guess it's fine. What do I know? And I just have my jewels here with the, uh, with the little. I don't know what this is to pick it up, but it works. So I have two different size jewels. And I'm just going to place them. I should probably use more glue. But. Ah, uh, yes. So I have a fan blowing on me and it's drying my glue right away. <laughs> I'm just going to go back and replace that. And I guess I added some more. Kelly! There we go. So that's how it's going to look, hopefully, also on this side. Shut up, y'all. Alright, so that's it for the lid. The good thing about uh, the duo is that if you place it and you don't want to do the spot anymore, it'll just dry down pretty much clear. So this is what we got. I'm going to add some liner, lashes, finish up my base, come back show you guys the final look. F it feels good to get back in the tutorial groove, you know. Uh, and I'm going to be cute. I'm going to fix my hair so you can stop talking about me behind my back. I'm going to start to fix my hair. I, <laughs> I did something. Um, this is the final look. I actually love how it came out. I feel like it's just so pretty. It's so pretty. You guys saw just about everything on camera. The lashes are in the style Tisha. I just popped out a brand new fresh pair of lashes and they feel so good. And I just remember why I love these lashes so much. Um, if you don't know because you're new here, they are my... <sighs> lashes for my brand that I'm still in the middle of rebranding in the middle of it I'm I'm getting discouraged and I'm ready to quit but yeah there's that the highlight is my studio 54 highlight from nomad cosmetics in hot shot now months ago I got an email that this was being discontinued so I I bought I bought some I bought I think I bought six, but here's five of them. I tried to give away to y'all, but y'all just don't want to win. So there's that. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I want y'all to know there's so much left in this that I don't, I don't know when I'll even be able to open a new one, but I love it so much. I really do. I'm so excited. Um, guys, do you want one? Because I'm pretty sure it's gone now. Um, comment down below 54. If you are the 54th commenter, I'll send it to you. That's, that's pretty much it. That, let's do that. 54, but you have to be number 54 in the comments. So this time on YouTube being first, ain't it. 
But, um, like the video, guys. Stop playing me. Uh, yeah. So, you guys saw just about everything on camera. Like I was saying, the highlight. I use this LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner in Fresh in the Waterline. It's like a mint. And I love it. I just felt like it was... It's cute. Okay, guys? Shut up. Now, like I said, I did go in with like a fine line, you see, in the crease. Just to give it a look. Just some dimension separated. It was a bunch of blues on blues on blues. Um, not that I use a different color. But it did make it pop. So, use my... Pastel pigment from Makeup or Murder and their Chemical X sealant. I mixed it up, used a fine liner brush, and I just went in the crease. Now, just use two drops. Get, you gotta get the right consistency for this. And then it works great. I did pop two little blue jewels here. I have a bunch of jewels. And I almost didn't put it, but every time my hair's up, I feel like I've got to. It just looks so... I wish I could get dermals, y'all. If I didn't have this headache condition, I would get dermals. Uh, because I have to switch to a subspecialist, like I said, and I'm probably gonna need another MRI. Who's paying for that? Not me. But it was great. And this is really the look. The lip combo. I've been going with a nude lip. Um, the lip, the liquid lipstick that I've been loving for months. Like it's my go-to. It's from Live Glam. It's so fly. I had like a brown lip liner and popped on a nude lip gloss. I don't know what it is. It's just an ultra lip gloss. I cannot find. My iconic London lip plumping gloss, and it's making me mad. Okay, it's probably why this took so long because it is hours later, y'all. But that's it. This is the final look. I love it. It's very blue. It's me. The jewels give it a little, uh, and that's what I love. Um, but that's it. If you like the look, if you like the video, if you like me, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. But guys, if you haven't already, follow my Instagram. I'll come back on Instagram soon. I'm just, I just need a minute. But follow me on Instagram. Do that. Let's get the followers up. Let's get the engagement up. Comment on some of your favorite posts. Like your favorite posts. But guys, if you haven't already, for real this time, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Once you subscribe, hit that notification bell. Join the Clockwork crew so you'll be notified every single time that I upload, which every single Monday, like Clockwork. I've been on a roll, y'all. I have. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Until next time.